always said I would teach children music, physics, and philosophy, but most importantly, music. For the patterns in music and all the arts are the key to learning. Plato, right? Next, okay, next one, Janice. They shared with you in music, we got to use our eyes, our ears, our two hands, ten fingers, artistic interpretation, two feet, keeping time, spatial interpretation, and touch. And then if somebody plays a wrong note, I had one mother who was, she was a ballet dancer and she was upset because her son played a wrong note. I was a little firm with her. I said to her, did you count the right ones? And I said, John Elway threw a football pass that didn't quite make it, but they still paid him 7 million and said, better luck next time. You're crucifying your child because of one note. Mm. Sorry. <laughs> okay, next, Janice. So playing the piano activates the brain in a ways no other game, gadget, instrument, or tool can. It is the total brain workout. And as I was sharing, it has not been the easiest way to determine what's going to be taught in each level. Do I do this? Well, I got too much in level three. Yes, but how do I subdivide it? What do I do? The following grading system is basically as follows in regular music, beginner, early intermediate, intermediate. So in the Saccone method, Irish wedding dance in our method, level one, six months of learning. It's considered level four and it takes six to eight years in the note by note system. The C, level two, considered level four. For release, R level three, consider grade five. Bach prelude in C, R level three, consider grade six. Donna, when you tell them about prelude in C, tell them this is the original version. What we do here is original. Everything we do here is original. We don't do watered down stuff. Uh, somebody waters that Beethoven's Moonlight Sonata is in the key of C sharp. Major or minor. When somebody plays it in the key of C or D minor, it's like oh. every key has a different feeling, and that song needs to be in C sharp minor. So we played the original stuff. Okay, Janice, next one. But not only that, our students have to, in level one. These are the books for level one. Our students have to study. Besides their song books, I don't know of any other method that has this. This is college material. But Jeremiah's learning it. Josie, how old are you, Josie? She's learning it. No problem. Okay, Janice, next. So to give you a further idea of where the students are at, level one is beginning to early intermediate in the traditional. Our level two is intermediate. Our level three is advanced, intermediate to early, advanced. Our level four is advanced. Everything after this depends on speed of speed, speed <laughs> of scales. And as I told these ladies here, if you start going too fast too soon, you will get carpal tunnel. I have to monitor the muscles and develop the speed very gradually. So there's no pain, right, Dharma? Okay, I had a student in Australia one time, Dis disrespect that rule. She tech, uh, emailed me, Donna, I can't play, my hands are so sore, and I went, oh, I know what she did. I said, you started playing? Yeah, I played real fast. I said, I had to bring her way down, retrain her hands so she could play. Okay, next. Our level five to 12 depends totally on speed of scales and chords. And then the students can play the big boys. People laugh at me here. Who are the big boys? Beethoven, Chopin, Rachmaninoff. I have to call them the big boys, okay? So instead of telling your friends that your child is in level three, you may wanna say late intermediate level two or early advanced, because that makes a little bit more sense. And on the next printing of these books, on the next printing, I'm going to put it on here so you understand. 
Level three is late, intermediate, early, advanced. It's not advanced, it's early, advanced. Okay, Janice, next. Oh, here's a comparison. Grade three, note by note system. Next picture, Janice. Our grade three. There's a difference, isn't there? Yeah. Okay, next one, side by side. This is much harder than this. This is traditional grade three, our grade three. Next. So again, today we share the progress the students are making and the joy of music, and we share the courage to develop the talents. Next, Janice. So we're gonna start putting the level of the note by note system on the songs that are being played as much as I can so you understand. Level three is not traditional grade three. It's way up here. Next, uh, why are we set up this way? I could not find anything or any system that took into account every aspect of music. I mean, every aspect, and I'll show you that. All aspects of music, all styles of music, none. So we develop the foundation. You gotta have a strong foundation. So we make sure rhythm, intervals, technique, chords, scales, levels, testing, tracking, how to learn, that everything is supporting that music. Next, thank you. Okay, so mega learning, how to learn, playing be music beautifully, sight reading, technique, long-term memory, not muscle, not, someone said, well, I should play it a hundred times. I should remember it. The last time I checked, there were no brain cells in your fingers. <laughs> you don't memorize something by playing it over and over. Memorize up here, not here. Yes, this helps, some muscle memory helps, but it will not keep it for long term. And then improvise it back up. Improvising and composing. Got to tell a story about Janice. Janice is a minor in music. And when she came here, she could play a C root, but she had no idea what a C root was. Now, you will hear two songs, two or three songs, three songs, today that she has done the arrangement for. And by the way, I always forget, Carol stand up and forget to introduce Carol, one of our teachers in training, Carol Walker Lopez, and you all know Janice Daniels, right? <laughs> yeah. okay. So, and we're building the steps to this very, very carefully. Why am I doing this? Because I never got it. And I always wanted it. And I saw all these holes and I was falling into them. And I was about ready to give up on music. And I go, something is really rotten in Denmark here. Okay, next, Janice. So two of our students are moving from level one to level two today. And one is moving to level three. So Harper Brown going to level two, Kira Lip, level two. And Lex Brown over here is going to level three. So. Lex, to get your trophy today. Don't let me forget to give him his trophy. Okay, next, Janice, please. Josie Flynn, you're going to start today. Maybe the first one. We'll begin today by playing Concerto in Chords. This is Josie's first concert. She has really been working on learning her note names on the step. Now, this song is considered level three in the traditionals. <laughs> so level one, I don't, you see what I'm saying by... How? There isn't any, so I need to let you guys know. This is a level three song. She's playing at level one. Okay. <laughs>
Okay, next one, Janice. Samuel. Flynn will be playing Italian festival. And the big thing he is learning is how to use the foot pedal while you are playing. And this is his first concert. Now, this song is considered early intermediate because of the rhythm and intervals, but it's in our level one. Samuel, and Samuel gave me permission to explain why he is wearing dark glasses. He's sensitive to light. Shannon, Lake Manup, will be playing concerto in chords. She is enjoying music more and more, and it's showing. Again, this is considered early intermediate. Now, Blake did not get her statement about music in soon enough, so I said she's got to turn around and share it. What do you want to tell them about music? It's really easy to do 
Did you practice for a long time? <laughs> Thank you, Blake. Janet Garcia will be playing Marianne. She said she's learning about chords and also about jazz chords. It's interesting to compare harmonies. And this is our level one song. Uh, it's not a beginner song. Be I'll show you beginner music next time. Okay. Music books, you can crack them open. She'll be playing the uh, mist. Her pro big progress is in blocking. Blocking is learning to hold all the keys down of a particular chord or pattern so that we activate kinesthetic, auditory, visual, and verbal parts of the brain. This saves hours of unnecessary practice and makes learning of the songs up to 500% faster. This is considered early intermediate we consider it level two.
Clive Middleton from the UK will be playing the C. One key part he said he's been learning is how to bring emotions and expressions out of a piece through technical movements such as flexing and playing more strongly with one hand during certain parts. Traditional, it's considered level four. It's marked right on the song. Thank you, Clyde. Lex Bechtel Brown will be playing Danube Waves, and he's going into level three today, as we shared. I told him that he has to play in such a way that the song makes us want to dance. So if you're dancing, that's okay. <laughs> And he said he learned about how the Russian method works compared to the American method and how it allows you to relax your wrists more when you play the piano. Considered intermediate. Lex, bench closer. <laughs> Shenden will now be playing Arabesque by Bergmuller. This is one song that is considered grade three in traditional and also our level three song. So Kylie, what do you like about music? You gotta come on up. It's not Kylie, it's whatever. Oh yeah, okay. Sure. 
Alright, so I learned more of slow, uh, slower is more prettier than fast. Uh, with slow, you can hear the melody as fast could just be a jumble of chords, except for some songs. Except for some stuff. So you're learning <laughs> to play deeper and slower. Yes. And who's this? This is, this is octave. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Who gave it to you? Oh, and Miss Janice gave it to me right around when I first started. Uh, yeah, I don't know. You know? Uh, eh. <laughs> He's my good luck charm. Robert Fisher from Connecticut will be playing For Once in My Life by Donald Miller and those of us in the older generation, maybe some here besides me, will recognize the song. He is learning, working and learning on the importance of counting and this is level three.
lost something and thank you, Robert. Okay, Sydney Lem from California will be playing Mist, and then there will be a violin and piano duet by Sydney and Sophia Lem. And this song, yeah. violin duet song, was arranged by Arjana Stanis. <laughs> This is the second movement of Starlight Sonatina. Go ahead, Sydney. Thank you very much. Thank you. Lisa Rye will be playing Fur Elise by Beethoven. Lisa said she's learned a lot more about how to analyze the chords on the left hand to help me block and get to playing the uh, backup, Janice, please. Uh, backup, there you go. 
get to playing the music with the understanding of why they are identified as certain chords. This song is considered advanced in the traditional. We consider it level three and we play the whole song most of the time in the traditional method. They don't. They play the first page. Thank you, Lisa. Carol Sin will be playing whatever that is by Lee. 
I know. By Lee Juan, go ahead. Arranged by Arjana Stanings. Now, this is a Bacal, I think that's how you put it, Bacal River in Siberia. R River? Lake. Lake, 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 lake. She is learning to work on expression. This would be considered early advanced. Now, I had to research this lake because I never heard about it. This river would be a uh, river uh, lake is the deepest lake on the earth. One of the most beautiful and picturesque places on the planet located in the southern part of eastern Siberia. It's about 20 to 35 million years old, but I read too many tourists are creating a problem. Next. Here it is. Here's Mongolia. Whoops, back up Janice. Here's Mongolia. Here's Lake Bacall. Isn't that interesting? Have you ever heard of that lake? He did. Okay. And here's a picture of it. In wintertime, they can skate on it. It's almost like glass. It is so pristine.
Yen Hong will be playing Butterfly Lovers, and she's the one that passed out that information to you to read by Gang Chen and arranged again by our Janice Stainings. And she said she is learning to take the time to study the music before rushing into playing. And this would be considered early advanced. Yen Hong, 22 pages. Yes. Okay.
Okay, we have two more performers today. Mimi Rye will be playing Br uh, Rhapsody Brillante by Melody Bauer, considered advanced. A rhapsody is a musical form that has distinct groups of musical ideas and a lot of contrasting moods. One part I've been learning is how to bring emotions and expressions out of a piece, again, through technical movements such as flexing, and playing more strongly in one hand in certain parts than the others. Okay, Min, you're ready to go. Uh, I think so. I, I need to show you the alternator too. This is just, okay.
her understanding of music before she went to college. So she is going to be playing The Man I Love by Gershwin. Any of you remember that one? Mm -hmm. And this is super advanced. Uh, Gershwin began his career in 1916 in America. He dropped out of school to work on music. Don't get ideas on that one, okay? <laughs> uh, he never attended a conservatory. He wrote the opera Porgy and Bess. Died at age 38, and I don't know why most of these young guys die early. Next, Janice. Janice. Next. She did. She did. Yeah, she did. Oh, she did. Sorry. <laughs> His most famous piece is Rhapsody in Blue. He has a most unusual sound, and when heard, people say, oh, that's Gershwin. His music is not easy to play because of the complex chord structure. Fatima wanted a different style of music and she got it. I'll play you the first couple bars of Rhapsody and Blue, but it's not for United Airlines, okay? Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna hear it, okay? Recognize that sound? Yeah. Um, that's Gershwin, but The Man I Love is another very famous piece of his. Let him come on up. She said, Donna, give me something besides classical. I said, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 
Thank you, and thank you for your patience today. 